Hi there, it's Rachel from Let's Get Crafty and today uh, this episode is going to feature uh, making this uh, mushroom curd with a Anya stamp. Okay, so today's um, cartridge features a mushroom cut from the Tinkerbell and Friends cartridge. I've been seeing lots of mushroom curds. Um, uh, Creations with Christina did one as well as Live, Love and Scrap and um, I fell in love with the mushroom and thought I would do my own cart. Um, <clears throat> so this one here uh, is cut is found on page 69 and what I did is I cut the mushroom out at uh, three and a half inches. So I cut out um, this first one and then I did the shift and cut out this over top one. So let's see what those look like. Okay, so here's my pieces here. As I said, this was cut out at uh, three inches with this blue paper. And the great thing is the mushroom was cut out of my scraps. I'm trying to use those up. And then the outside was cut at um, three and a half inches as well. And it's just gonna fit over there. But um, what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and use my cuddle bug and bossing folder and just um, make these a little bit more interesting to look Okay, so here are my embossed mushroom pieces. Um, the base of the mushroom was um, embossed using the Cuddlebug Swiss Dots folder and then the uh, decorative light blue, blue piece was embossed using the Crafts 2 uh, embossing folder. Um, so it just gives it a little bit more interest and I thought to give it a bit more depth as well, something that I don't do a lot of, and I'm trying to do more of it, is use um, chalk ink. So I'll uh, just move that out of the way and just pull this out here. So uh, what I'm using right here is just a sponge, makeup sponge, and I'm just going to put that on there like that and get some chalk on it and just rub over the top piece here and that's going to just bring out the flowers a little bit more and uh, give a little bit more interest to the mushroom itself. So I'm just using my Scotch um, Quick It Dry Adhesive Okay, so what you can see I've gone ahead and done is um, attached the um, top piece and I actually, just to give the flowers a little bit more depth, I went and used my pencil crayon and just colored them in a little bit. So that's all ready to go. This uh, paper is from the Die Cuts with a View Green Stack and it has a cute forest, lots of cute kind of foresty type paper so I thought this was would work well and I'm just um, using my tape runner to attach the pattern paper to my craft cardstock and um, then what we're going to do is attach the mushroom. Now for some reason I must have when I put it through the embosser put it on the wrong side here because uh, the mix up from where I cut off the flowers on this side. So with that in mind I'm just going to put the mushroom a little bit more over to this side so that I can attach flowers. And what I'm using is just some pop dots. These are different pop dots in the fact that they are black on the background, but because they're on the back, you don't see them, so it really doesn't matter that they are black at all. So we'll just peel that on there and put it on. Okay, so we'll just uh, stick that on closer to the bottom there. Okay, and now I have just some pre paper Prima-like flowers that I'm going to glue down. And this is just to cover the imperfection. This cart mushroom actually comes with its own set of uh, flowers, but I just thought that these would add a little bit more interest. So I'm putting them down in groups of three because I just find odd numbers are a lot more pleasing. Then um, 
paper then even and then in the center oops I'm just attaching blue buttons okay there we go so now uh, we're gonna make this image from the girl and what I've gone ahead and done is I have uh, stamped it with stays on ink on my white paper now I am not a Copic person I haven't invested the money in those I am thinking about taking a class to learn a little bit more about them but um, I watched a tutorial online about getting copic like remark results and they suggested using these big uh, markers so that's what I'm going to use to color in my image Okay, so I've cut her out, and again, I'm going to take my pop dots, and because I want to make it look like she's sitting on the mushroom, I'm just going to put the pop dots on her head and put a little bit of glue on her bottom area, and then I'll just take off the pop dot wrappers. and attach her just like so and then all we have to do is a sentiment so what I'm going to actually use is just so that everything coordinates and matches nicely this is my scrap paper that I use from the mushroom and I am going to do this be happy stamp so uh, this is a Studio G stamp. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what collection um, it comes from. All I know is it comes from my uh, gigantic collection of them. Uh, I'm going to stick it in the corner there, stamp it down, and then I'm going to just use my paper trimmer to cut it out and then again attach it with uh, pop So you dots. can see I've pop dotted it. Here's my saying, be happy. And I am just going to put it up in the top corner like that and there is our completed card. So you can see this one looks quite a bit different from this one with the flowers on the... so there's those versions. Then I also... Um, this is one of my first... The, actually the first one that I made. Uh, I use I cut it out on shadow and just use that so that gives you a bit different of a look. And then using different paper I uh, made this cute uh, really girly one with um, purples and pinks and uh, made two different ones and just had fun with the colors that I used for the um, little girl. So this is my uh, card. I thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you um, enjoyed watching this video and that it inspires you for some of your own creations. So see you next time and go get crafty.